and gentlemen, very simple answer from here, as much as they can possibly get. A final reminder, Afghanistan winning the toss and batting first. It's up to Alistair Campbell and to Devender Kumar in the commentary box. Thank you, Gautam. Thank you very much. Hazratullah Zizai is there. Will there be any change in approach here in Lucknow? Atal Bihari Vajpayee International Cricket Stadium hosting the second T20 International of the three-match series into his 12th match, 493 runs at the strike rate of 164. Uh, he hasn't been batting characteristically. It's been a quite different approach that he's brought in this series, in one day series. But Gurbaz into his second match at a tender age of 17. A lot of expectation from him. Perished early of the very first delivery. The short selection, the mindset, lot of talk just before the beginning of the match. Jason Holder to begin the proceeding for West Indies into his 13th match. 10 wickets across formats. He bowls really well. In the commentary box, I'm Devendra. With me is Alistair Campbell. Good evening, Alistair. Evening, Dev. Evening, everybody. Well, we all know what's at stake in this game. It's a simple one. Afghanistan need to win it to level the series, keep themselves in it. And West Indies win it. They uh, take an unassailable 2-0 lead. So, uh, we're nearly ready to rock and roll here at the Akana Stadium. A noisy crowd in. We've come to see some action, some fours and sixes. And the umpire signals that we're going to get the first ball underway. Jason Holder will be bowling to uh, Stratula Zaizai. Swings it through the onside. Typical Hazratula Zaizai stroke for a six. What a dramatic start to the contest. <laughs> there we go. There we go. They've got the uh, opportunity really early to get those placards up and show the six side. This is right out the middle of the bat. It's uh, not a great delivery, you'd have to say, from Jason Holder. It's in the slot exactly where he would have been wanting it to pitch. And he flicks it over the leg side. That is a long hit. I said in my pitch report, left-hander hitting out to uh, that side of the ground. That's uh, all of uh, 70, 80 meters to that boundary. So that's carried around about 90, 95. Big blow. Hits him on the pair. Otherwise, he's going to try and take you on. Pulls through the onside. He got the finger on the boundary at a square position, but he finds the gap for four. Yeah, lovely stuff. We saw him flick one off his legs. First delivery. This time, Jason Holder getting too short. Trying to bowl the genuine bouncer, half tracker. And, uh, well, he's on it. And he knows exactly where that fielder is. So it doesn't try and hit it too hard. Rather, places it and gets it in the gap and away to the boundary for four. So just the start, Afghanistan would have wanted. Remember, Rashid Khan winning the toss, electing to bat first. Bit of surprise with the dew that's around, but it's already started falling. So probably will be the same for both sides. And Afghanistan can post a score here. That's what they need to do, post something challenging. Swings it through the offside. That's leading that fieldsman. Might not go to the boundary ropes. We'll pick up a couple of runs. Explosive start, that's the expectation, supposition from Afghanistan. And he tries it handsomely, boundary to finish the over, a typical Afghan start, it's 16 for no wicket. Off to a rampaging start in the first over, 16 from it. No changes in the field that you expect with Gurbad on strike. Sheldon Cottrell. Down the leg side, so uh, it'll be an extra. And uh, it just goes to show that uh, probably a little bit on the slower side, this particular surface. He's uh, playing just the way we know he can. To have a key effect on how the game turns up. That's how he started. A blistering fashion, hit through the onside. He likes that area, square leg, mid-wicket region. Two men out on the leg side, square leg, mid-wicket. Pulls it away. He was uh, that man. Yeah, Karim Janak, he had a fantastic Spurgis exactly Cricket League back in Kabul. And he's fed it up. He might come up, up the order. So adding to the betting strength by getting another all long green. What? Give him as much. Top hits. And it's going to fly away. For a single. He wants the second run. Bit of hesitation between the two batsmen. Two to finish the over. 
wonderful addition. They are there building up the crowd. A lot of expectation from both teams, the way they play the game, charismatic style of play, entertaining style of play. They always attract spectators. Beaten outside the obstacle. Nice carry through to the keeper. Reaches for it. He gets it over. It's going to go away for four. Another boundary for today. Yeah, he's picked that one. That was the slow ball. Change of pace. Floated up there. Length was the killer here for Keswick. You've got to get that length right when you're bowling that slower ball. There it is. Floated up there. Middle up in the circle. And he's able to uh, carve it over the top is Hasratullah. Another boundary. Fair head. Fair execution. Clarity of the thought process contributes significantly in performances. Attempt him for room. He's going to pick up a single. That's very good from Afghanistan. Great, though. That's, that's the key. 165. Outrageous. It's, it's gone up in the air. The fieldsman might get in there. Wicketkeeper, no collision. And it's going to run away to the boundary. May not travel all the way. But a potential opportunity there on offer. It's the keeper's catch all day long. What's Keswick Williams doing? Surely he's heard the call. Well, clearly he hasn't because he's carried on running. And, uh, well, he's uh, made an absolute hash of that. There's the man, Dinesh Ramlin, with the... The mittens on, the big gloves, his catch all day long. That's Rattula trying to smear one away through the leg side, top edge. Ramden, surely he's calling. And then he bails out just at the last minute. And Keswick Williams can't make the grab. He's a big unit, Keswick Williams. <laughs> Discretion being the better part of Vela. That's up in the air again. This time, he's gone further towards the boundary. So they'll be able to uh, trot back for two. Hits it over the top of the down. That is a good, authentic shot down the ground for four. First boundary for Gurbats. And he goes again, just over the top again. This will be another boundary, back-to-back -back boundaries. Bloody a boundary to begin with. Four overs gone. It's 41 for no wicket Afghanistan. Can this sustain the momentum in next four overs? It's a start from Afghanistan. Winning the toss, deciding to bat first. Couldn't have asked for a better start particularly from Hazratullah Zazai and as this shows Gurbaz also joins the party that's what can possibly deceive that has gone very very high with the fielder circling under it and on second attempt, it's the big mitts of the captain, Kyron Pollard, who says, don't anybody come near me. And the new trademark celebration of Keswick Williams as he looks heavenward. That's a big wicket for the West Indies, provided, of course, the bowler hadn't overstepped his welcome. Impossible, of course, to tell from that angle. This will give us a, a conclusive view of, of what's going on. Yeah, it looks as though he's safe there. So it is a wicket down. And it's an excellent catch from Kyron Pollard. This had a lot of ear miles on it. And it was going slightly over his right shoulder. Just there. So he had to judge it precisely, almost overran it. But on the rebound. Good length bowling as well from Keswick Williams, just... Decent strike rate there for Karim Jannat. Replacing Farid in this uh, 11 today for the second T20 International. And he's gone first. Delivery that in fact is Zazai because the batsman crossed. The left-handed Zazai who had such an explosive start. Once again falls to the guiles of Keswick Williams. Brilliant from a Williams backing up the wicket from before. I think this definitely had a little bit of pace taken off it. You could see Zazai almost having to delay the shot to try to reset. 
That was the first wicket, which was seam up. Wicket of Gerbaz. Quickly followed by Zazai. Safe hands of Brandon King. So after a flying start, Williams, who's been exceptional in both games so far, prizes out the openers. Zazai goes for 26, 42 for two. Keswick Williams was on a hat-trick, but that's not the kind of delivery he's going to pick up hat-tricks in a regular interval. That's spanked away. It's a wonderful shot from Karim Jannat. We know that's the kind of strokes he can play, and he's shown us his wares with his second delivery. Five overs gone, 47 for two. We talked about the possibility of a change in batting order. They have uh, tinkered a little bit with it. Ibrahim Zadran has been pushed down. Batted in the top three in the first T20 international. Not often you see Jason Holder with an opening over that's gone for 16, but it was against batsmen who were pretty much going after everything. Beautifully placed from Karim Jannat, he'll get four for that. Didn't need to do anything other than just find the gap between third man and point and he did it to perfection threaded the needle brings up the 54 afghanistan within the power play one delivery short you just whether it's pace on the ball or off the ball with a short third man in place you can't give the whiff that was an error ball from jason holder and he's got to be inside the off stump into the side for Afghanistan and Kimo Paul taking the place of Fabian Allen who went off with a knee injury that's going to keep him out for a couple of weeks bit of a blow for the West Indies not just from the point of view of Fabian Allen being contribution in the bowling department bats down the order and a very exciting fielder but uh, Kimo Paul still one of the young brigade have the experience of playing on these surfaces in the one-day series they will miss uh, Fabian Allen but not a bad replacement to have in the wings it was a good power play for Afghanistan ball striking at the top from Zazai particularly was very good Gerbaz made his contribution as well a little more subtly until he was caught by Pollard Just to finish off the story of that power play. Gurbaz at the one end was uh, caught by Pollard of Keswick Williams of a seam up delivery and then the change up. Very next ball. Let's say it again. Have a look at that uh, dismissal. And a very clever change of pace. Very next delivery from Keswick Williams getting rid of Hazratullah Zazai. Playing through the line but not judging the pace of it. Two and two for Keswick Williams. Gets it fine, fantastic catch. And there is a wicket. Holder gets a wicket. Senior campaigner, two pitched up deliveries, followed by short one. And he has nicked that one. I'll tell you what, what a catch from Ramdin. He's the most senior in the side. And going down on, on his leg side, picked it very quickly. What a brilliant catch, one handed. Credit goes to. Only the only one, Ramdin, he deserved to take this catch. Getting off to an explosive start, but then losing wickets and right in trouble Afghanistan. Once again, time to resurrect the innings. The partnership That's goes, it. looking to hit down the ground, gets the thick edge. Running away towards the ground, we will go away for four. It's a tricky one. Doing. Afghanistan need to do it today. Oh, cut away. Almost the catch. But happily, once again, Kareem Jannat got a boundary. A very vital one. 
yeah, to the delight of the spectator. Persistence uh, in uh, looking to play the shot. Not far away from the stumps on that occasion, but too short. Slicing it just away from that uh, diving fieldsman. And on the sweep on the onside. Goes over the top of extra cover. Another handsome shot and it's going to run away for four. One of the best shots that he's played so far in this innings of 24 of 16. That's a beautiful delivery. A huge appeal. The ball just came in and was too good for Kareem. No foot movement. And that's always a problem in trouble for Afghanistan. The footwork has damage again for Afghanistan. And Kareem Jannat being grabbed. Oh, that's looking a bit leg side and a little bit height as well. But you cannot say anything to umpire decision when it's raised the finger. It's bang straight down the ground. Has he got enough on it? Just that's what's required at this stage of the game. Really, really good shot. Held his form just long enough to make good contact. And yeah, you can raise your placard. Six more to Afghanistan. He comes with a reputation, does Ibrahim Zadran. And with strokes like this, we certainly know why. Got to be the most unique stroke of these two T20 internationals so far. We've seen some big sixes from the likes of Evan Lewis and today also from Hazratullah Zazai, but that one was just like a punch for six. This time Kimo Paul gets the better of him with a change of pace. I just think that uh, he thought Ju was going to be uh, a problem for both sides. So uh, he decided that what's our best chance of winning, and that is to get runs on the board and uh, back our bowlers to restrict. I just think in uh, his own heart of hearts and the rest of the team as well, they know if the West Indies get that 170, 180, it'll be very difficult for them to chase that down and keep themselves in the series. And has that been taken? It was a low catch. But Kimo Paul is celebrating, and again the change of pace. Kyron Pollard lurking at short extra cover, despite that injury to his finger, takes it perfectly and cleanly. Good piece of bowling, give the captain some kudos as well, because uh, generally at this stage of the game, you would find him on the edge of the circle, you would not find a fielder in that position. And he replaced himself perfectly to take that catch, Kyron Pollard. So Ibrahim Zadran, he has to go for 11, 88 for 5 now. When you played the most games in uh, the world as well, was it 490 <laughs> games? I think you got a, a fair chance of uh, having those stats against your name. Right, that's uh, not going to please the captain. A nice smile from Najee Bullet. Right, oh, no ball. And uh, immediately, yeah, yeah, quite right. There's uh, really been one in the over. That's uh, the second one called no ball. So any no ball. Just to remind all you watching, any no ball, it's not just the front foot no ball, now any no ball results in a free hit. That's going to be wide, which means it'll be a free hit again, the free hit stays. Empire just confirms that and now Jibrullah Zadran will have a second chance to put this away. Just wafted at that one, if that was a little bit closer. The bowler might have won that battle. Yeah, I see his method. He was clearing the front leg and uh, went wide. So if it had been a fraction inside, that would have got away with it. Right, what's he going to bowl here? <laughs> Tries to swing it away on the leg side. Even a half century from one of them would have had them uh, in a far more commanding position than they are now. Still far from out of it. Need. someone to do something lower down the order it's not going to be Mohammed Nabi because he perishes yeah he's looking at the surface it's a change of pace again I reckon if he had uh, been out of his crease he might have had a better chance but he's trying to heave one down the ground got it off the toe of the bat and that's a huge wicket big blow for Afghanistan this there he goes right back in his crease trying to punch it down the ground nowhere near the middle of the bat simple catch that for Keswick Williams keep my Paul 
Gets a wicket, high fives all round. That is very big for the West Indies. Muhammad Nabi gone for three, 97 for six now. Good shot. One bounce for four, a much needed boundary from Naib. Not learning any lessons here. Down the leg side once again. Another boundary, again on the leg stump. Again, yeah, I just wonder, it's not going to happen here, but certainly love to see Keswick Williams bowl that penultimate to look to get a wicket and get deeper into this and then have Cottrell bowl the last one. Very well bowled. Ten from the over. Stripped away. Got the men on the boundary ropes, either spectator, it's gone for six, not quite finishing his spell well. A boundary to end the over, 11 from it, it's 140 for six. He bowled well to him, not giving any width to him. No need to play these kind of shots, he's been given out to LBW, another wicket for Keswick Williams. A determined walk to the crease from Rashid Khan into his 44th match, 119. Has the ability to clear the boundary. Can he hit a couple of sixes here to finish the innings well? They've been go short at Rashid. They've tended to go very short at him. Shot. But they found the fielder there. Welcome boundary. Shot wide right outside the office stump. And he hits him for four to mark the end of the first innings. 147 for seven. Brilliant spell once again. Three for 23. Can they restrict the opposition to to come back in the series? Afghanistan team just trying to uh, get their plans in place. Heard uh, Keswick Williams mention that the West Indies very much aware of the potency of the spin bowlers, particularly from Afghanistan. So by no means will they take this lightly, saying that we've restricted Afghanistan. They look at it as runs on the board for the opposition and something for them to chase down. Their approach undoubtedly will be as it always has been with the likes of Brandon King and Evan Lewis, both aggressive young batsmen. Challenge will be Mujibur Rahman in the first few overs. Rashid Khan saves himself for a little bit later. Muhammad Nabi, particularly against the left-handers, likes bowling to left-handers. Just a faint nick. That's a good shot from Brandon King. He'll feel good about that. Freeing the arms, there was width. But it's one thing to have the width, another put to put it away. Brandon King did the latter. Evan Lewis goes on his merry way, one bounce four. Oh, he's deceived him and he's cleaned him up. That's the end of Brandon King. He waited, he waited. And the next thing he felt was the clatter of the stumps behind him. Very clever from Naveen ul -Hak. It is a super slower delivery that he has, and it's good to see him bowling it on a good, foolish length. The change of grip comes very late, so as a batsman, you're looking at the hands to see when the grip changes. Brandon King unable to notice it and unable to pick the slowing down of the pace. Excellent from Afghanistan. King goes for 12, 17 for one. That's in the gap. That's going to race away to the boundary for four. Not a great delivery from Mohammed Nabi. Oh, it's a big appeal this time. He successfully got a wicket. Karim Jannat into the attack. And have got a vital wicket. What a comeback. What a moment for Afghanistan. Is this will be over for Afghanistan to change the momentum for West Indies. Excellent cricket from Karim. A 
Well, he's made an impact straight away as Karim Janak, Shafane Rutherford to the crease for the West Indies. 34 for two, we're in the eighth over, they're struggling here. They need to get a move on because uh, that run rate is climbing every over. And uh, I think you'll find that this pitch is, well, that is a long way outside the leg stump. As I said, uh, I think it was hitting, but that's pitched a good uh, well, half a foot. So in the scheme of things, that's not a good decision. It wasn't a small margin. The strike rate is concerned, struggling. Bellard holder, Kimo Paul, after Dinesh Ramdin. 9.6 at the moment required. Trying to take the initiative. Evan Lewis is the first one to do so. And he's got lots of runs in the series. Always keeps you guessing, Kyron Pollard, who's going to come in next. <coughs> Never too far from seeing Pollard coming out there and taking the game by the scruff of its neck if things are falling behind. It's gone straight up in the air, but it could just fall in no man's land. It won't. Yeah! And it's been taken. Very well taken there. Ibrahim Zadran could so easily have misjudged that one because the trajectory of that ball was not the easiest under the lights. Reads the batsman well. Beautiful delivery. Is there a lick? Yes, he takes another wicket. Karim Janat is on fire here in Lucknow today. Well, it's been the deception. The slow one got rid of Evan Lewis. This one to Sherfain Rutherford. Certainly, on first impression, looked as if it was pushed through. Put a little extra shoulder into it. And Sherfain Rutherford followed it into the hands of wicketkeeper Gurbaz. Oh, definitely put a lot of shoulder into that. And how delighted is Gurbaz. That's a big wicket. Three for four at the end of two overs. West Indies halfway through, 45 for four. It. Strokes it over the top of extra cover. Away from that fieldsman for four. Where do you turn? Who do you go after? All the photographs from the official uh, ACB photographer. Driven down the ground, it's going to take a single here. Oh, that's going to be very close. Your finger goes up, and a very Kyron Pollard like delivery from Karim Jannat using the crease like Pollard does so often from wide of the crease. And the umpires may have got a couple wrong today, but that one looked to be dead and gone. And what a massive wicket for Afghanistan. Yeah, interesting field change also dropping the fieldsman from the mid wicket region to the boundary to make him think to work through the onside. That's what happened uh, using the crease, and that might have gone on to hit the middle and leg stump. That's a very good decision. And Karim Jannat jubilating here in Lucknow. What a fantastic spell this from him. Four wickets for six into his third over. Pollard gone. With that, maybe the hope of West Indies win. 54 for five. Well, Azhar is taking the charge, looks like. He's in Wolf and trying to ball a bouncer to Jason Holder, almost six, seven feet taller. There's not much pace. Can he bounce her? There is a bouncer. There's an opportunity. But just luckily, he couldn't make it to tag the catch. But luckily, uh, West Indies got a boundary. Yeah! Another one gone. Lots of pressure bowling tonight from every bowler and every member of this Afghan lineup. The Lions are alive and they're fighting back. Once again, another wicket and a great setter from Rashid. He knew the batsman is coming down. Just short of ball length. And excellent work from the keeper, Gurbaz. The big man, Jason Holder. Haven't got much runs in Rashid. The Khan Saab got a wicket. 
to West Indies, 69 for 6. 35 deliveries. That'll go all the way for 6. Doesn't need a sighter, doesn't have time for a sighter. That's about 15 rows back. Hello, Rashid Khan. Wow, what a welcome from Kimu Paul. That's a huge and massive. And he even he's smiling. Because everybody is surprised. First ball. He picked it early, the googly one. What a connection. He knew it. It's mile back from the boundary. It's almost 18 more than 90 meters six. What a way to open his account with a six. One! Straight away Rashid on back length. They want to swap Simmons in as a specialist ah! back. I have to mention Puran as well in their batting side. That was the ball hit the ground. Bat hit the ground. No last ah! game. They thought it's out, but umpire was not interested because it's really hard to take the decision in this stage because crowd is loudy. Rashid was very confident. Another slower delivery. This time, try to. Best of uh, four for eight. Yeah, well, that's in this particular game, folks. An economy rate of uh, just under eight and a half to the over. That won't matter. He's given himself and the side a chance of winning this game. That's the important thing. That's another one. Five, five. five wickets for Kareem Janat. What a game he's had tonight. He's bowled his side to the brink of victory. He's only conceded eight and taken five wickets. Yeah, the flags can fly high. It's been a performance that he will remember for a long, long time. Pull. The off the inside edge onto the stumps. Lines that he bowled, lengths that he bowled, didn't change his pace unnecessarily. He's delighted. He is on, on the moon at the moment. Afghanistan in total control. Kimo Paul, with the reputation of playing big shots, is dismissed for 11. It's 89 for 7 West Indies. Message will be for them to uh, right, sleep it off, don't worry, put it behind you. We've got to uh, come out with positive intent and do what we have been doing for the balance of the tour. <laughs> There we go, that's uh, jumped and <laughs> gone through pretty quickly to the keeper. It hasn't been easy for any batsman to get settled here. We haven't seen anybody really come to grips with the conditions. Hustra to the Zazai in the beginning for Afghanistan. Was able to find the boundary a couple of times, but really nobody else. The bowlers uh, with skillful changes of pace and accurate bowling have been able to win the day for both sides. Swung away, the onside's gone high up in the air. There is a fieldsman. Oh, we'll have to make this decision who's going to take the catch. It's Rashid Khan. The captain takes the catch on the boundary ropes. No, different celebration. He doesn't want to show the six packs. Maybe Hamid Hassan would have loved it. So. Yeah, fitting that Rashid Khan should uh, take the catch out in the outfield. Change of pace again, no surprises there. Hayden Walsh Jr. trying to clear the ropes, consolation maximum. It finds the safe mitts. And there we normally see the guns. Very nearly saw, as you mentioned, Dev, the six pack, but smiles all around for Afghanistan. Hayden Walsh Jr. gone for three, 105 for eight. Afghan fans who had uh, sleepless nights discussing about the fortunes of the team, Keshik Williams, he pulled magnificently today once again in the second match on the trot. Works through the onside, he's going to take a comfortable single to mark the end and a fantastic win for Afghanistan, winning with a massive margin of 41. Yeah, they needed that Afghanistan, they really did. Kareem Janat, what an inspired selection tonight, came in and uh, he's bowled them to victory. The flags can fly high tonight here in Lucknow.